everybody, welcome back to the Zenith Super Duty Build. What do you say we get this nose gear strut on? Oh look, it's already on. Let me show you how I did that. So far I have installed one rubber disc and I am using this silicone paste right here. And if you need some, I'll put a link to it down in the description box. I got it on Amazon. And what I do is I just uh, smear a little bit on the inside of the donut. And I also just took a bunch of it in my hand and smeared it all over the, the top part of the, the gear leg. So I guess I'll install the rest of them. You'll see the plans gives you a measurement here of 250 millimeters to the bottom disc. When I put mine on, I didn't make any kind of measurements like the 250 millimeters. So I put them on a little bit low, which is fine because I think after I get the nose gear installed, I'll have to adjust them anyway. So I'm just moving them up now to get a little bit closer to the final position. Well, you're seeing me install this for the first time. I didn't pre-fit it with a camera off. And you can see I have the nylon blocks on the bottom. I thought I could put it together all at once. What I did here was I moved the rubber donuts down a little bit, thinking that might work. And that didn't work. So now right here, I'm actually just taking off that bottom block. And then I think once I push it up in there, before I let it down, you'll see right here, now I can put those blocks back on. Well, I think this might be the right way to put it in. So I lowered all these down. These are just in a random position enough to get the gear leg in there and before I pushed it back I put the block on there and now I would suppose all I have to do is push this up might not get it in the final position maybe I'll have to put it put the the nose wheel on and lift up on the nose or push down or something but at least it's in I can move these up and then give it a final adjustment later four screws that go on the bottom here and these are the screws you can see the head is drilled for safety wire and what I'd like to do is paint the airplane before I put these bolts in so I think for now I'm just going to leave them out I have these two bolts here holding it the block in place so I'm not sure right now if I need to put those in uh, so I'm gonna leave them out for now and since I'm filming the installation of this over a few days a week or two ago, I drilled these holes on the bottom of this block and they have to get tapped. So you want to make sure you use the correct drill bit size and the correct tap for that. That's already done. 
I'm not sure if I filmed that or not. I'll look to see if I have any footage of it, but it's simple enough to do. Once you get this into position, you have these screws in. Make sure you have these in first so it's, holding, it's held in the proper position. Then you just go through and you, you drill the holes in here and then uh, open them up to the, the correct size for the tap and then just tap them. And of course, you wanna make sure you don't go all the way through. Now, one of the ways you can prevent drilling all the way through that block is to get one of these springs and they're made to insert onto your drill bit. You can see right here, there's a little Allen screw so you can, you can adjust the depth. And then once you drill a hole, when this hits the surface, you stop. So they work really nice. You have to get it sized for your drill bit. I think I have like three different sizes of these. If you want to do it the old fashioned way, just put a piece of tape on your drill bit. And then when you drill into your surface like this, when the tape goes up to the, the bottom, you know you're in far enough. It works exactly the same way this does. If you're drilling in here, this part hits and you know when to stop. So either one of those methods will work. Well, moving along here, I don't see why I can't put on the nose gear fork. And to put this on, there's some bolts that go through there. And looking at the plans here, I see that's a number four. So we come over here and see what a number four is, and it's an AN411A. So I will collect those bolts and get this part installed. Well, before I get started, I do have some help today. This is my neighbor's dog. He named her Piper, but I've renamed her Pitts. Right, Pitts? All right, Pitts, let's get this nose gear on. This front bolt, I couldn't quite push through the hole. I'm putting a, a nut on the back bolt just to hold the fork so it doesn't come off. And then I'll uh, see if I can put the other bolts in. I might have to put a reamer through the holes because there is primer and paint in the holes which does close them up a little bit. So it looks like this bolt isn't gonna go in. So I think I'm gonna take it apart and run a reamer through all of the holes. Okay, so I've reamed out all the holes in a nose gear fork and I'm putting one bolt in here, it goes in nice. But what you'll see in just a minute is when I go to put in all the other bolts, uh, they don't wanna go through. Well, I did have to run a drill bit real gently through these holes just to get some of the bolts in but they are all installed now so the nose gear fork is installed or strut i'd like to get this nose wheel on and you might remember from a, a previous video quite a while back i have to put this o-ring over the wheel and then the other half goes on and then what what it, what you do is before you put air in the tire you push this down and you bring this o-ring up and it sits right along the edge here to seal it um, the problem i had was i couldn't get this o-ring to stretch over here like i need a couple more sets of hands i think so maybe uh, later when my neighbor's home we can get this stretched over there if i can get that done and get this wheel half built then i can put the wheel on here and then i can do what i've been waiting to do for a long time and that is get the Super Duty off the workbench. All right, everybody, I did not get my wheel put on today. Uh, everybody was busy and I just didn't get a second set of hands to help me uh, kind of get this built. I leave for work tomorrow, I'll be gone for a few days. When I get back, I have about a week off before I leave for Oshkosh and uh, I'll definitely be able to get this tire and wheel uh, installed on the airplane and get the airplane off the workbench. So. Maybe about four or five days from now, look for another video. Even if that video is just taking the airplane off the workbench, 
I'm going to film it because that's a big step for this airplane and I'm really looking forward to it.